What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Stack. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. And we're going to talk about a couple of books today and then tell you some hot news stories. So why don't we... <laughs> you like that? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Nice. The hottest news from the greatest sources. <laughs> Justin yeah. Pete When you do this later, could you have it like hot news? <laughs> yeah. Explosions. Explosions. Yeah. yeah. We'll add that in post. First thing we are going to talk about is the first issue of the long-awaited World War Hulk. Oh my yes. god. If you yes. talk about excitement, Pete's literally radiating heat <laughs> because of this book. He's full of gamma rays. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey. oh. I'm sterile. So, um, Unrelated. Unrelated. I was so excited for this book. Absolutely could not wait. Counting down the days. And I was disappointed right off the bat. What? Really? Why? I because thought it was very good. I, I liked it overall, but at first I was really disappointed because it was like they talked about how angry Hulk is, how he's going to come to Earth, destroy all the puny humans. It's over. It's done. Everyone's dead. Run for your life. Yeah. So what happens? Hulk pulls up, goes, hey, guys, listen, <clears throat> I'm going to prepare a speech. It's going to be really well done. Um, you have 24 hours to evacuate. Um, run for your lives because when, when I do land, I'm going to give you 24 hours though, when I do land I'm going to be really pissed. Okay, was that good? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, you're not mentioning though that his speech ends with like, okay, good, and then he pulls out Black Bolt, who's hanging like bloody and blood. stuff, yeah, like he's messed up. Yeah. And that guy's really strong. He whispers and you fall down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the field they, goal kick. They even mentioned, which I thought it was a nice uh, continuity thing, that Black Bolt has whipped the Hulk's butt in the past. Yeah. yeah. So that was, you know, at filled a nice story purpose of basically being like, the Hulk is stronger than he has ever been and he's gonna take down the world. What's nice about this is it is very, uh, it's right in the continuity, they even mention um, the Sentry fighting uh, against the Hulk, which was from the Sentry series, which no one talks about, which was a great <laughs> but, series by Paul Jenkins, if you haven't read it. But not good continuity is She-Hulk. She-Hulk lost her powers. She shouldn't uh, even be... Uh, uh, look at uh, these, uh, look at uh, these! Uh, 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 um, <laughs> um, twin figures of the continuity as well as we uh, uh, Last I heard, she hulk <laughs> was not supposed to be fully operational. I know, but then she got it back. How? Because when? that guy Amadeus um, turned it off. Because he, he made her drink a soda. Wait, when did that happen? I'm sorry. <laughs> Incredible Hulk She Hall drank 106. a soda? Yeah, Incredible 106, she drank a soda. Uh, here's the deal. Okay, in when the you Marvel, drink soda. In it, the Marvel Universe, they like to quantify and rank people almost constantly. Like in this book alone, there's uh, the Hulk is the third strongest person, and then he beats up Black Bolt, and they're like, well, maybe he's the second strongest person. I'm, I'm the same way with my friends in life. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Which, how do you rank? Um, he beats you. Only because he's angrier all the time. He's so angry. <laughs> and basically, if Pete tried to beat me up, I would be like, go ahead. Whatever you want to do, I want to, I want to give this to you as a gift. Oh, that's weird. That's well, kind of yeah, strange. So, <laughs> Amadeus Cho is, I think, the sixth or seventh smartest, smartest. Yeah. smartest person in the Marvel Universe. But he does it in kooky ways, like feeding She-Hulk a soda that gets rid of the nanobites that took away her powers. Oh, yeah. okay. I missed that. Nanobites! Yeah. yeah, I missed that. Yeah, there you go. So she has her powers back. Um, I thought it was both great and uncomfortable, the whole, whole issue. Mm, it was great because when uh, the Hulk starts broadcasting this uh, video that Mr. Fantastic, Iron Man, Black Bolt, and Namor, is that the fourth No, one? no, it's Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Yep. When they sent him off Earth, they said, you know, we're sending you off Earth for the good of all mankind. And they've shown this video a couple of times throughout his series. And it's others. all over YouTube. It's <laughs> everywhere right now. You can so, download yeah. it, MySpace or whatever. Yeah, totally. Um, also check out our blog. We're going to post a video of it later today. <laughs> Novel the novelization we're working on. It's great. They, he shows it to the entire world. And I don't usually have that strong a reaction to most comic books. But definitely for me, every single thing that he went through, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was basically like a guy at the movie like, oh, being snap. like, oh, snap. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, Why Hulk, is he doing that? The Hulk is taking them down. And yeah. it really was like showing that video to the entire world. You have years of stories where you have the Illuminati or behind the scenes controlling things. Yeah, yeah, Nobody's yeah. known about this thing. They've gone through this whole civil war where Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man, <laughs> Iron Man has basically taken over the Marvel Universe. And then you have the Hulk with one fell swoop telling the entire world what a dick Iron Man is. <laughs> I've been trying to talk Iron Man down as a dick. No one listens. Hulk yeah, shows yeah. a video, bang. Yeah. That's the power of media. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Not only is he the strongest he is, he's also the most powerful with a video camera. He's yeah. a hell of a spin man. He's yeah. Great. And Iron Man tries to come back with his own little broadcast thing, but doesn't doesn't yeah, even really fall short. Forever. Love the Rick Jones cameo um, in Vegas. Uh, it's guess that's it then. And Rick Jones pulls his sunglasses down and says, don't bet on it. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> he's great. in Vegas and they bet a lot. There. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's, it's all real continuity, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> but then the uncomfortable moment comes in, which is uh, Iron Man and uh, the Hulk are fighting in the Centuries Tower, also Avengers Tower. Yeah. And it, I agree with you. In the middle of Midtown Manhattan, after they've evacuated Midtown Manhattan, and this gigantic tower falls down straight in the down of and the way they draw it is literally a several panels of the building falling such a twin towers reference yeah which, which especially for something that uh joe Cassad has been selling as the green sorbet after our big well, would you recommend this book what do you think oh yeah definitely it's definitely. good it's a good event um it, like i guess to kind of back up what joe q's saying it's going to be a nice uh light event for the summer with a lot of fighting yeah. Um, and it, hopefully they they make this continuity happen and like make it be a real event. Yeah. yeah. And I hope that uh, Iron Man's dead. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's probably not. Yeah, I probably not. <laughs> but it'd be cool. He's a movie coming out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't care. We'll see what happens. Let's move on. Talk about the latest issue of Countdown. This is Countdown number forty six or what is it five something like that. I've yeah. forgotten how to add. I don't know how to reverse count. Yeah. yeah. Neither do I. <laughs> but um, I think this is a nice contrast to the Marvel events. This particular DC event. Pete and I were talking about it a little bit earlier. DC events, pretty much as a whole, are the multiverse is back, the multiverse has gone away, the multiverse is back, the multiverse has gone away. And it's very... One trick pony. Exactly. Yeah. As opposed to the Marvel events, whether they're good or bad, at least they're trying very different things each time they go for it. So, right. Yeah, I mean, it, we're not trying to broad stroke this and saying all of these yes, events... We are. I'm well, always broad <laughs> well, I am. All right, but I'm just saying that this particular thing, which is cool, the fact that they're like, hey, let's do every week call with a new comic. That's a great idea. <laughs> but it Come has on. really been sucking <laughs> as, as a comic. Uh, this one was better than the last couple, I think. Um, one reason is there's a monster made of babies. <laughs> a babe, babe, dead baby monster, which was horrifying. Yeah, that, that was sure. ridiculous. Huh? That's, yeah, I was like, this ridiculous. is... Not only does his comic suck, but that is... And the, his power is to throw babies at Mary Marvel. <laughs> and, and he talks to Mary Marvel, he's like, please, just let me eat a couple of babies. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, the really bad babies. You'll barely them. miss a few babies, am I right? I'm hungry for babies. <laughs> and he, if you open it up, it's like one of those greeting cards where it talks yeah. to you. Yeah. So it's like, I want babies. <laughs> I want babies. Baby. <laughs> what I also... I love you. What I also think is ridiculous is they keep... They have the history of the multiverse, in case you haven't, aren't aware of it for the 80th time that they've done this. I was like, all right, come on. Well, the, the this one's a little bit different. In the back of 52, they had backup stories, which were uh, character features and the history of the DC universe. Origins. Yeah, yeah origins. origins yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the history of the multiverse, so specifically focusing on um, you know, things like Crisis on Infinite Earths, the, the time when... The original Flash uh, met the new Flash from... Uh, I just feel saying like it is confusing, uh, and yeah, I know about confusing. it. Yeah. Which is, it's nice that they're at least trying to distill it down, but I have to say, even in this distillation, I, I was, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, and it's, the whole comic is confusing because there's so much happening, and they're not taking enough time on one story. It's all over the place. Yeah. But I also feel like having that in the back... It's just like they're trying to sell, hey, multiverse, huh? Huh, multiverse. It's <laughs> yeah. like, no. It's like, my little brother's cool, right? You yeah, can hang with on, us. You can hang with our gang, right? <laughs> my biggest problem with this whole concept and what they're doing with all of this is it's an attempt to explain things that writers have done yeah. Yeah. that they thought, oh, this would be a fun story to do. And then because fans are like, wait, but that doesn't match up in continuity, they say, oh, but it does because blank impossible man did this or this multiverse thing this and it's just it's unnecessary you know as long as there's fun good stories I don't think at the end of the day it really matters and you can't listen to those complaining fans who say yeah. oh just because you know there was a new flash for one issue we need to explain that it's yeah. like if you were married and you were like baby I'm not cheating on you I just I joined the circus and then you go and join the circus what? <laughs> no, he's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you lie once, then you're like, then you have to back it up. So you start By juggling, yeah, you yeah, start yeah. lion taming, and that's what they're doing. This is just a big lion taming. Are you cheating on your wife? <laughs> I am not married, but okay. I'm cheating on my future wife. Cool. All right. So <laughs> <wanna talk laughs> this, No one's going to see this, right? Yeah. <laughs> this new, uh, I'm really... You Wait, got one, me one more thing about this. One more thing about this. Okay. Um, Jason Todd gets beat up in this, and underneath his mask, he's wearing another mask. <laughs> like, I he, love it when they do his, that. His helmet gets split, <laughs> and he's still wearing a mask. Like, I'm wearing a shirt under my shirt. Too <laughs> <laughs> This is pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I like how he compared Touché. himself to Jason Todd a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bad. She came back to life, you know. Yeah. All right. yeah. yeah. If I split babies. that shirt in half, <laughs> I'm hungry for babies. <laughs> Give us babies. Give us babies. Speaking time, of babies, time for fourth meal. Yeah. Hack slash here is a new baby to me. I have uh, fallen in <laughs> love with this baby. You're gonna eat that baby? <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, you, want to. you have turned me on to this series, which you've uh, turned me on <laughs> to, to this, this series. series. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hack slash number two. I am so all about this. Uh, so much fun. Uh, Lots of cool slash, stuff. We, we talked about it a little bit before, but it's uh, a great series. It used to be a series of one shots and mini series about crossovers. Yeah. Crossovers? Chucky. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cassie Hack is a slasher who slashes other slashers. That's pretty much <laughs> yeah. the log line of it. She's the girl who survived at the end of a slasher movie and then came back and she hunts down these slashers, which are essentially like mystical creatures that keep coming back from the dead, just like mm -hmm. they do in the movies. So yeah. um, she, with her monstrous but nice ally Vlad, travels the country <laughs> trying to Vlad. kill other slashers. Yeah. Here's the great thing I think about this ongoing series. I always felt like the miniseries and the one shots, they didn't really have a chance to develop the yeah. characters. It was yeah. kind of the a same thing. A lot of thing. parody. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of parody and a lot of focusing on specific movies. Like yeah. they had a crossover with Chucky, I think they had one with Evil Ernie as well. This He's series is Ernie. great. I don't know. I just wanted to throw that out there so I sounded smart. <laughs> but the ongoing series takes the time to really develop the characters. It's nice because it has the parody element, but it also has a good story underneath it. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, it, with, and one of the great examples of that is she's shopping in a dollar store, and Vlad's like, you know, very protective. She's like, can you just back off a little bit? Like, I'm going to be fine. I'm just one aisle over. You know, yeah, she's shopping for underwear. Yeah. Yes, sexy underwear. <laughs> sexy, sexy underwear. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so I'm going to join the circus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, liar. You're cheating on your wife. Uh, in this issue, I mean, just to talk a little more about the parody elements, it's a hair metal band that has actually sold their souls to the devil. Yeah. Great. And are sending virgins to the devil as yeah. tribute so that they can keep being a popular hair metal band. Yeah. Where, where are they doing the show, though? They're popular, but they're doing a show in, like, Chattanooga. I, know. I don't know. <laughs> I'd sell my soul for Chattanooga, personally, but I don't know if I was... Well, it's, I was the, first, the, it's the first of their big tour, so oh, yeah. let's give them a break. The end of the <laughs> issue, to give you a little uh -uh. spoiler, is uh, they've sent all of the virgins in the audience, in the audience yeah. under their stage as groupies to hang out uh, so that they can um, be in hell. Yeah, you like that? Later, uh, they're going to probably have sex with you. Yeah, or sacrifice them. I know how rock the, war the Vlad, rock world works. Vlad so. doesn't get let underneath, even though he's a virgin. Uh, so he doesn't get let underneath the stage because he's too ugly and he's a big hulking guy. A friend of theirs is like, you know what you're going to have to do, right? You're going to have to get laid. Hilarious. Do -dum -do. <laughs> yeah, which I thought... But he's a... ugly, so it's impossible, <laughs> right? Because they're ugly. Oh, man. As a what a huge twist. cliffhanger thing that they were building up to, it made me laugh. No, I it laughed. was very funny. Yeah, like, I laughed, yeah. Especially yeah. such a series that paints itself as a real violent thing and yeah. the big cliffhanger is like, will this ugly dude get laid? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next yeah. time. So I really can't recommend it highly enough. I think yeah. the art, especially in this ongoing series, is great. The writing's great. They've really stepped up their game from the miniseries and the one shots. Yeah. You've really turned me on. To Moving that on? Copy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was going to be an end to that sentence. That's interesting. Nope. All right. Let's Speaking of spoilers. <laughs> yeah. New Avengers here, this, this comic was bad, and it was like, the cover <laughs> shows uh, Elektra being killed, and that's the big reveal at the end. That's not the that's big, not the big reveal. reveal. Yeah, they're like, last oh. page, they're like, hey, she's dead. Well, okay. Did you stop reading halfway through? Because <laughs> no. there is more after. Well, right. there is so more, here, but here's I'm the deal. saying that, like, don't New Avengers, the... this issue was fine. I was fine with it. Yeah. It's, they're still fighting the hand, hundreds and hundreds of ninjas. They just won't stop coming. The hand is run by Elektra. And then Electra got killed, and here's the big spoiler, is Electra turns out to be a Skrull. Oh. So Alien Shape Changer has replaced Electra at some point. Mm -hmm. And the new Avengers are standing around saying, what does this mean, what's going on? Just like, obviously, the reader is. <laughs> <laughs> so it really brought us in. Like, yeah, I felt so like here's I was the question in. here. Um, a lot of people have been asking, because of the stuff that's been going on in the Marvel Universe, what are they going to hit a reset button? And they keep saying, no, they're not going to hit a reset button. Absolutely not. This isn't the DC universe. Yeah. They're not going to be like, and it's a new day in the Marvel universe and everybody forgot everything. Because Iron Man used to be nice. Now he's a dick. Scrolls, dicks. Do the math. 
<laughs> there you go. The also, dick. Spider-Man revealing himself, I think he'd probably also be like, oh, that was a scroll. Oh, that's a good comment. Right? Yeah. 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 So the scrolls are essentially a way of having a reset button without having a reset button. Yeah. It explains all of the things that have been going on. Maybe Scarlet Witch was replaced by a scar scroll that caused House of M. Oh, yeah. Um, what else is going on? Everything. They can just go over everything. Yeah. I really actually think but, they will. But yeah. my point is, is that, like, don't put on the cover uh, a lecture being stabbed and then be like, oh, I'm reading along. Oh, well, that's not the surprise. That's, that's not, not the surprise. The surprise, I, the surprise but, is that it's a scroll. You also, yeah, I you know, know this but was it's the like, cover of Daredevil where Electra got killed, right? Is a tribute to that? Oh. There you go. Feel better now? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. So she's revealed as a scroll, and then there's the even bigger reveal oh, yeah, was in the at the end where Jessica Jones' baby. Jessica Jones and Luke Cage's baby. Baby has green eyes, a la a scroll. A scroll. Mm. And the, at the end, the baby's like, yeah, it's <laughs> the school yeah. eyes, yeah. Because usually the so baby's like, I'm sleeping or I'm hungry. Here's my question for you guys. Luke Cage, a scroll, Jessica Jones, a scroll, or the baby, a scroll, or all three? Uh, I would think... Just the magic of the baby. It was weird. I, mean, I don't want to get off to topic. You Jessica know. Jones, I think. Yeah, because I, I think they have to make, to make it work. Luke Cage is like the character you're like, yeah, he's so badass, so he's got to fight Jessica Jones, unless you're an Alias fan, like I am. You don't give a Not shit about Not the TV her. series, the comic series. They hate that shit. Even hey, though the first two seasons were awesome. But <laughs> Doctor Strange didn't die in this, which I was like... You like him? Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Um, little spoiler for World War Hulk. Rumor has it he's going to get his hands busted up. Yeah, I thought you guys said that would happen in the first issue. No, no. I think it's fourth or fifth issue. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, like, it's one of the uh, <laughs> penultimate things. Here's a spoiler for the end of World War Hulk, guys. <laughs> we usually say spoiler first. Oh. Not us. <laughs> right, nice. Anyway, yeah, I agree. I think Jessica Jones is probably the scroll. That's what's going on. And I think they're going to do one of those arcs where Luke Cage, everything bad that possibly can happen to yeah. him happens to him. He's brought to the end of his rope and still ends up being a Here's well, what they'll he was do. going through some of that in this. Like, without yeah, we got, he tried got to get milk, and then he was just like being arrested and then being shot uh, at. Yeah. Um, here's what's going to happen, though. <laughs> like that time he tried to get milk. <laughs> Comics are fun. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's like The Sims. Uh, what happen, What will happen, though, is he'll be like, my life sucks, my baby's a scroll, and then they'll be like, oh, don't worry, the scrolls captured Jessica Jones, but kept her in a stasis chamber where your baby is doing fine. <laughs> and then he'll be like, everything's okay. Yeah. So well, I guess we'll have to see what happens. Obviously, this is something that's going to play out over the next year or so, I think. Yeah. And that's our show. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this has been The Stack. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good night. Good night.